It's working. It's working. It's working. Are you as excited as I am? Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. I'm rate limited. Video over. Do we really need developers anymore? I mean, they need to eat and sleep and drink coffee and go outside and do all sorts of human things. ChatGPT doesn't need to do that. Let's see how close ChatGPT can get to deploying a couple of Docker containers. I want to expose Nginx behind the traffic reverse proxy. And in the process, the tricky part is I want it to get a certificate from Let's Encrypt using a Cloudflare DNS token. We're pretty close. Let's see how close. I'm Alex from KTZ Systems, and I submit to our robot overlords. <laughs>
and bring these containers up and see what happens. Ha! <laughs> Isn't that interesting? There is a typo. There's a flipping typo. Cloud fair. Yeah. <laughs> the chat GPT output has a typo in it. Now with the typo fixed, let's bring those containers up one more time and see what happens. Okay, command traffic error, configuration, uh, failed to decode configuration from flags, field not found, Cloudflare DNS. So I suspect this is going to be related to how this section here is laid out. So I actually have another node I've been using for other demos on recent YouTube videos that I have just here. This is like a cooking show. Here's one I made earlier. What I'm going to do is just go through and compare what we've got from ChatGPT and what we've got from a known working configuration. So I think the big difference is the resolver. Certificates resolvers, that is correct. Dot my resolver. I wonder if we change that my resolver. Ah, this is really interesting. It's actually combining. So if we look at the, the traffic documentation here for a second, we can see that if we want to, as described in the Let's Encrypt community forum, when using the HTTP 01 challenge, this is the string that should be used. So this is using an HTTP challenge. We actually want it to use a DNS challenge so that we don't have to expose port 80 onto the internet. Uh, this is fascinating. So this is how ChatGPT isn't quite human yet. It's pretty damn good, but it's not quite going to replace me in my job this week. <laughs> there's still time. Now, if you look at the Cloudflare documentation, we can see there's a few variables. We specified the API key and all that stuff. So let's just jump back over here and just try and chat with ChatGPT and tell it where it got it wrong. Uh, it looks like you've used an HTTP challenge rather than a DNS challenge. Could you fix that, please? Also, you had a spelling mistake in cloud fair DNS. It should have been Cloudflare DNS. Let's see what happens now. <laughs> I always like, I apologize for the mistake in my previous response. Fix the spelling mistake. Okay, that's a good start. Let's just copy the traffic portion and see what's going on. I, I'm not going to spend too much time debugging the code we already had. I know we can get it working if we did that. The whole purpose of this video is to see how close we can get through ChatGPT. All right, so let's do Docker Compose up, fail to decode flags again. Okay, so this is where we probably do want to compare just a little bit to what we've got going on on the other side of the fence. So on the left here, we have a working configuration. These API keys, by the way, expire at midnight tonight, so you can use them, but they won't do much. If we look at the DNS challenge here, we have DNS challenge equals true. This line looks good. The next one, DNS challenge dot provider equals Cloudflare looks good. Delay before check especially if it's set to zero. I don't really see the point in including that. Uh, let's ask it. Why did you include delay before check? <laughs> There's no point reading documentation anymore, is there? We just go to chat GPT and say, hey, <laughs> why do you do it? By default, traffic waits for, for two minutes before checking the DNS records. You know, I'm going to ask it to set that back to the default. Regenerate the configuration with delay before check removed. <laughs> the way in which it can understand context is really something. Let's copy that over. In we go. Okay, so DNS challenge equals true is good. DNS challenge dot provider equals Cloudflare is good. The resolvers, okay, we don't need need those, but Sure, why not? Now, I think this is where it gets interesting. It's kind of messed up a little bit on this one. So we've got the name of the certificate resolver, which is my resolver. On this one, it's called Cloudflare. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this from here. So on the left-hand side here, we've got .email. 
DNS, uh, so we get to myresolver.acme.email. So let's just delete these two words here and see if that works because if it does that's remarkably close to a working configuration no API key field not found API key aha so what's interesting now if we look at this is rather than specifying the API key as an environment variable as traffic would expect it's trying to load this in as a command parameter and so far as I can tell that doesn't exist so if we look on the left here, dot email exists, but dot API key does not. And so what I'm going to do now is is ask ChatGPT, please include an environment variable to set the Cloudflare API key token for traffic. And let's see. It should just generate now. Again, context is good. It's got Nginx in there. All right, so that's all we needed to add was environment just here. So let's just add that in here and see what happens. <laughs> Thank you, YAML. Okay, Docker Compose up. Unable, cannot get, some credentials are missing. Okay, so I need to specify the email address as well as an environment variable. So also specify Cloudflare email. Is that what it is? Oh, I'm using scope tokens on that one. Yes, yeah, so we can see over here the two values that are required are the global API key, which you should never use, <laughs> and the Cloudflare email that's in there. All right, so uh, also specify Cloudflare email as an environment variable for traffic. I mean, really, at this point, it's adding <laughs> one or two lines. It got remarkably close, closer than I expected. This is not an easy thing to actually configure out of the box for the very first time as a, as a new human, let alone for ChatGPT to try and figure out that, you know, these they, some of these values don't actually exist. I wonder where it got some of this stuff from, though. That's the interesting part. OK, let's put that in here. Oh, I didn't actually specify the environment variable, did I? API token. Docker compose up. Oh, it's API key. It's API key. Not token. There we go. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Are you as excited as I am? Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. I'm rate limited. Video over. Okay, just one more thing. I'm going to ask it to add the staging server as a CA to Let's Encrypt. That way, we should be able to actually generate a certificate and call the video a great success. A great success. There it is. There's the line that we needed. So let's go edit our file over here and add in the Let's Encrypt staging server. Probably also need to set up a DNS entry for this host, but I will go and do that off camera. It worked. Look, we have a certificate. Test.badgersbits.io. It's probably time we went and tested it, huh? Let's go to, uh, what did I put? Test.badgers bits.io oh that's an http domain okay so it should be redirecting to https connection refused aha so chat gpt didn't think to expose our reverse proxy on port 443 let's just do that for the sake of the video let's just do that off camera i ended up having to make a couple of other tweaks so not only did chat gpt not include port 443 down here it also didn't include the redirections from port 80 to 443 and so now we've got that i'm going to spin this up and we're going to see if it works docker compose up okay cool traffic is here the api is exposing 80 and 443 test.badgers bit.io ooh 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 is it working? Is it working? It's working! It's working! Staging! Let's encrypt! So there we go. <laughs> I'm older and more decrepit than I was an hour ago when I started this video that was supposed to be a five minute thing. Uh, ChatGPT turns out not quite ready to deploy containers yet.
but it's pretty damn close. I've been Alex from KTZ Systems. Thanks for watching.